Listen to that funky guitar. He's not changing his clothes on stage. And he's changing his clothes on stage. Really? What trousers as well? He changed his trousers on stage. He changed his trousers on stage. <laughs> Did he change his shoes? Did that really just happen? What just happened? <laughs>
Oh. Is it just me or is this choreography super complicated? <laughs> That right there de deserves an award for the most unnecessary moment ever, right? Why was that necessary? <laughs> it's disgraceful. Oh. Well, this was unexpected, but can I say, I really don't like it that he's been shoved to the back of the stage to do that. Like, this needs to be center stage, like in the middle of the audience. Wow. He's hidden there. So what exactly can this man not do? Name me something that he can't do. I think it'd probably be easier to do that than actually listing everything that he can do and do really damn well. That was a great performance, high energy. I really like that song as well. Uh, the choreography was super complicated. Um, you really need to get into that and focus on that as well, al alongside like singing as well. And then you just add in him playing the drums at the end of it. Like, do you want to add any more complicated layers to your performance? Do you not just feel that him performing is him challenging himself he's not like what is going to look good he's like how can I challenge myself how can I be better than the last time like this is crazy he's competitive with himself what a beast now I'm always on the lookout for another performance of this song because I love this song Look at this introduction, it's so showy, building the tension already. It's kind of like that Disney introduction, isn't it? I love this song so much. Wow, look at this uh, screen in the back. Wake up. It's time to go. Starting now. I love this. On your mark. Oh, he's gone. Three, two, one. Let's go. Wake up. It's time Ooh. to go. My silver starting now. Crazy, like what is this? Somebody explain to me what is this magic of you know, like you cannot take your eyes off of him. And I feel giddy. You know, it really is like that feeling when you have a crush on somebody and you almost don't want them to know, but you can't help but have this smile plastered all over your face. That's what I'm like when I see this man doing whatever. I just cannot help but smile. He is just amazing. His stage presence. Oh. He is so good at projecting his voice.
Oh. He is disgustingly handsome, isn't he? My god. So I like this. The performance of this that is like planted in my head, I can't even tell you which one it is, but you know it's the last one that I reacted to, uh, where he starts off all dramatic, black hair, long coat, and that is just like, I don't know, I will never be able to get over that performance. He looks amazing in that, and he's got like a really dark vibe in that, kind of like he owns everything on this earth feel this is different this is quite energetic um there's a lot more going on in terms of screen dancers it's not so uniform yet the energy is still exactly where it should be the vocals are exactly where they should be um but it's funny how you can play with these elements and then represent a song to be different that is so it's just so intelligent <laughs> Listen to that live voice. I absolutely love that dance section and we're going to watch that again and I'll tell you why because he is fast becoming one of my most favorite people, one of my most favorite performers because yeah, you cannot take your eyes off of him. Everything that he does, he commits to 150%. I mean, even that is less. What I love in particular about Juno is that constant challenging himself, his focus. He's not like in this to, he doesn't even necessarily look like he's having fun and I don't mean that in a negative way like he is delivering a performance like there is just some real direct intention behind him doing anything like he won't just do something because other people are doing it or because it's trendy or even necessarily because it will look good he's gonna do it because he's damn good at it and because he wants to prove something to himself again it's that being in competition with yourself and I think that sometimes that's the best thing that you can ever do because the moment that you start looking around you'll just think that you're not good enough and you'll be like why didn't I come up with that and you'll start taking inspiration from other people which is great however you'll start taking the best bits from other people and try and build yourself around that but what he does he has that kind of like real laser focus in this is me this is my brand this is where I I'm coming from. This is where I want to be in like five years time, for example. And he looks at what he's good at, where he can improve. I feel like he's quite a harsh critic of himself as well. And he works his backside off. You can see it. You can see exactly how many hours of rehearsal, of perfection have gone into putting something like this together, which the audience sees like in four minutes. You know, it is just that intense. That is the intensity that I am in love with. Look at how the light is hitting him on his body. Oh, I'm sorry, the other dancers are doing the exact same movements, but they aren't doing it like, you know. Oh. 
Oh. He is wearing a satin suit. Bro, oh, I love this. When we start off, right? Look at how he is extending the stage into the audience. I absolutely love that. Come out as stronger, so stronger, stronger. He really uses space very well. Oh. What is this creature? He literally is like a jukebox, isn't he? You kind of just don't know what you're going to get. You put your money in and you just press a random button and he's like, sure, I will transform myself into that and I will give you that and I will give it to you good. Like, what is this? This song is great. He is looking fabulous. <laughs> He sounds so good. His voice is so crisp. He's all sassy when he's blonde. Oh. Wow. You can't even say that the microphone is good. It's him, isn't it? It's his technique that's really good. Like he's quite good at cutting off the air, the airiness in his voice, despite having that JYP sound. Um, and yeah, like it just sounds like his voice, the twang is right in like the center forward part of his face um, and it's fantastic when you are performing on stage and those are the sorts of things that make me question whether somebody is singing live or not but I can definitely tell that he's singing live he just has a fantastic pair of lungs on him and he does a lot of this um, deep breathing like you need to dig deep to be able to produce sound like that um, takes quite a lot of practice and confidence oh please don't run downstairs What's happening? Is he doing a magic trick? Is he gonna end up back on the main stage or something? I can't put anything past this man. <laughs> Is someone gonna appear in there with him? Listen to that funky guitar. He's not changing his clothes on stage. And he's changing his clothes on stage. Really? What trousers as well? He changed his trousers on stage. He changed his trousers on stage. <laughs> Did he change his shoes? Did that really just happen? What just happened? <laughs> Let me see your shoes. Was he wearing those shoes? He looks so good. Mm. 
this song changes quite a little, uh, quite a lot, doesn't it? I wish I could understand the lyrics, but it literally is like a roller coaster. The amount that this song has changed in its like pace and vocals as well. I'm still astounded that this man just did a full outfit change on stage. He changed shoes because he was definitely not wearing those shoes with that suit. Um, wow. Again, thinking outside of the box. <laughs> oh, his sweat looks like glitter. Like, what is this? He had a full outfit change. Do you know how hard it is to put trousers on in a hurry? He changed his trousers on stage. That is the tagline for this reaction video. I just cannot believe Does he do that in every performance? If so, I feel like I'm going to need to dedicate one whole reaction video to just roller coaster and him changing his outfit on stage. <laughs> who does that? Who actually, who thought of that? Juno thinks of that. That was awesome. As always, thinking outside of the box. And I really like that song too. It showed me so many different sides of his voice. What a man. Oh, really? He's gonna have a rock song? He literally is a jukebox, isn't he? Kind of like pop rocky. <笑>ネドを捨てばいいの。<笑> This is really, really nice. Okay. I really wish I could understand the lyrics for this. I'll definitely go and have a look at them afterwards. But I'm really getting that kind of pop rockiness from it. Um, teen kind of a feel. Um, and, you know, like those late 90s, early 2000s, like those sorts of a sound. I don't know why it made me think of um, Hanson. And yeah, like it, it's just a really, really nice space. Never thought he would have a song like this. But okay, fine. This is a great song to perform live, isn't it? With that chorus. Look how the leave this is live. Listen to that deep breathing, like he's really going to the pits of it. So I feel like, yeah, there's been a lot of like pushing himself to see how much he can do. And that's how he's discovered that actually his voice is massive. And a lot of that does come from that deep breathing from the bottom, the pits of his stomach. Sometimes he does take audible breaths like higher up. I feel like he does that more for effect. However, if you watch him, like his voice is quite breathless and yeah, like he could just go on. He could hold a note like for ages, couldn't he? <laughs>
This is awesome live. Do you think I would have had the same opinion of it if I'd heard the actual like track before? I'm not sure because I feel like the live is just elevating the song. I'm sure the song is really nice as it is, but this live, this is how I should have discovered this song. Oh. Let those instruments shine. <laughs> he could have kept going he purposely ended that note but he could have kept going that's so funny that i was just saying that just now but i bet he can hold notes really well um like every second that went on i was like he's gonna bring in his vibrato just now just now just now to end it and he didn't wow how long did that go on for has anyone timed it <laughs> This is such a great performance trick. Building this energy, getting the audience all hyped up. And my most favorite person that does this or did this was Michael Jackson. He'd do it all the time. He'd suddenly just collapse on the floor for something like this to happen. Wow. <laughs> if that doesn't give you chills then I don't know what will <laughs> now i think that might be my most favorite song so far that i've discovered taking turn it up out of it because i'd heard that previously and i really love that song but i think this is my fave now i wonder if it will change so i've heard the japanese version of this but i didn't realize there was a korean version and that it was a duet and that it had like a music video mm. so i think for me personally this is my most favorite style for him i love when he does this like slidiness it just sounds so gorgeous um and that moment that i am just obsessed with in two of us this is like a whole song of that and i just adore it so much <laughs> 
But I'm not sure. I think I might prefer the Japanese version. Which is the original? This or that? I am hoping for some harmonization in a second. Because her voice is a lot brighter. They are sounding so good together, aren't they? I think already I can tell that I prefer the Japanese version, okay? It, that language gives his voice a really nice darkness. However, the harmonization in this is no joke. Would you listen to his voice? When he sings like this, it just feels like he's proposing to me. It honestly does. He sounds so beautiful. It really is my most favorite sound from him. Um, and I just think I am just astounded with him. I would say that he is the true definition of a triple threat. So he sings so well, such a strong singer. He dances incredibly well. We have the proof right there. You know how much I love his dancing. And then his acting, like... This is not an idol becoming an actor. This is somebody who was born to act. He is spectacular. Even if he has like 30 seconds worth of dialogue in a scene, my eyes are just not moving away from him. He has such great presence on screen. And actually, I feel like saying that he's a triple threat is a little bit of a, it's a bit of a cop out because I would say that he's a quadruple threat because if you've seen that face, he is so handsome. So you get a normal handsome man, right? And you're like, wow, yeah, he's stunning. And then you get like a yellow highlighter and you highlight that man and you get Juno because wherever he is, whatever he is doing, he glows when he is on screen. He is born to perform to us in some way or another. And for me, he's a quadruple threat. He is amazing. And I'm yet to discover another idol who take all of those boxes as strongly as he does. They sound so good together. Her voice is so bright that it's actually highlighting his depth. It's not masking it, which is really nice. Mm. 
Beautiful. You know, sometimes the female voice, I feel like it can be quite powerful and it can mask a man's voice, especially when you're singing like this, kind of like lazy and lounge. Um, but it doesn't. She actually highlights his voice. And I find myself hearing him more in this uh, than I would have done if it was just him on his own. And I think that song is so beautiful. Um, yeah, definitely one of my top songs for Jano. Here goes the jukebox again. Oh. Really? Oh. Oh. This song. Oh. Now he is just proposing to me. supposed to pick a favorite song when it's Juno. My god, this song is killer. I love the styling in this. Look at the stage and the yellow lights. He looks amazing like this. It really sets a mood, doesn't it? Oh. Once again, I wish I could actually understand the lyrics, but this is coming across as such a great song. I have to say, like, maybe my favourite now. I get the way they're sharing him. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> he is amazing. And that somehow brings us to the end of this reaction. I am absolutely distraught. Um, I cannot believe that it's taken me so long to get to these amazing songs. Honestly, I don't think I can pick any more. I was going to say like which song I preferred, but they're all so different. It's really dif difficult to pick between those songs. So they're all different styles, perform differently. Um, but they definitely get you feeling all sorts of different things too. And I would say like ending the reaction on this was absolutely perfect. Like he makes me blush. What a gorgeous man. Please talk to me about all of these songs, all of these performances. What do you think? Um, I can't wait actually to go and listen to the official tracks for these because obviously he plays around with a lot of stuff and staging. Um, and always I find that live music, live instruments elevate a song to like, something completely like different you can't get that in a studio version unfortunately um 
So I'll be interested to hear how these songs sound on the official tracks. And I can't wait to go and have a listen, a look at the lyrics as well, because I bet the lyrics are amazing too. Um, yeah, please continue recommending Juno stuff to me because you know I'm in deep. Thank you so much for joining me for that reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.